Hi everyone, it's Al again, and I uh, wanted to uh, do a part 5 video of the aquaponic system. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've done some modifications and I've, uh, I've done some uh, additional work. The system is running right now, uh, as you can tell. Uh, you can probably hear and see the water uh, flowing through there. Um, Essentially, I changed the design in the bottom from the two barrels to one. One is uh, more than enough. Uh, so I simplified my life tremendously by doing that. I have the uh, cutout uh, up there to put that uh, thermostatically controlled fan with the louvers uh, on it. And uh, so that's going to get wired to that junction box that you see up there. That's where it's going to get its power from. And uh, there's going to be a, a, a thermostat that controls that, and there's a control wire that goes all the way around from here, and it'll terminate in this box here. And then that other uh, shutter is going to be installed here, and it's electronically controlled. So the thermostat, when the temperature gets high enough, will open up the intake shutter, and we'll start the fan, which will open up the exhaust shutter and uh, airflow will flow through here. Then there, I have another thermostat that we're going to install and that one's just plugged in. I have a 1500 watt heater uh, uh, on a pump that it's a uh, block heater for, for an engine, uh, uh, for a truck engine. And uh, that's going to get mounted outside here with hoses going to it and there's going to be a, a 265 gallon per hour pump which is perfect for this tote because this tote is 275 gallons so, because it's not full all the way, it's not going to be really 275, so uh, it's going to be able to circulate that water once an hour uh, properly, oxygenate it, and get some circulation in there for the fish, as well as uh, have the thermostat control when um, that water needs to be heated up, so then that water will be uh, set at the correct temperature for the fish, which will also provide warm water for our growing plants in here. Uh, there's going to be another bit, another growth bit uh, that goes in here as well, so we're going to use that as well for another growth bit and then a rearing tank for uh, the rest of the fish. I will show you real quick, uh, well you can tell already that I already ran power into the greenhouse, right, and we got junction boxes going on all over the place there. Uh, so uh, I still got to put a cover on that one and a cover on that one once everything is uh, ready to go but there's power to it and uh, my sump pump over here with a float switch is working properly uh, and I decided to go with that float switch design uh, because I felt uh, it was going to be safer not to damage the pump if you know if, uh, if the water cycle gets so that it gets too low. Here's the uh, the water tank itself, and there's the uh, uh, the return from uh, the system. Uh, it's a little overfilled right now, so it's gonna come down in size. Uh, uh, I just filled it up uh, today, so we're running it through for the first time all the way through, and in a couple of days that water level will come down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a a water hose that we have a water faucet right outside this greenhouse and I'll have a water hose coming here with a float switch that uh, will automatically add water to the system when it gets low enough so it'll probably be another three inches lower, lower from what it is right now and, uh, and then the system will be uh, ready to go I'm gonna let it circulate for a few days so let the water uh, uh, get clarity in it and uh, let the system settle for a little while and then we're going to introduce some uh, seaweed extract to uh, essentially prime the system and we're going to start uh, our uh, seeds here pretty soon. So let me show you if I may uh, what the water level is there on the, on the belt siphon so you can see how high that water gets on that ring before it goes down. We did not wash the gravel or the hydroton at all and you can see the water is really clear right now I mean it's not perfectly clear because um, we just had to run it for a few hours but it's already 
gotten pretty dang, uh, pretty dang clear from what it used to be. Let me see if I can find another one that's closer to emptying. Uh, this one looks like it's uh, getting ready to go here in just a few minutes. So we'll kind of monitor that. In the meantime, you can see that I got the valve set so I'm restricting the water flow to them. Uh, and I've not timed it yet, I'm just kind of done it by year. Um, but I will restrict them in such a way that it'll take them uh, about four minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, that it'll take him probably about eight minutes or so to fill up and then two or three minutes to to empty it out. And here's how they're emptying out. The bell siphons you can see are working really well. There's one that's already emptying and we're gonna see there's three more over there that haven't started yet, as you can tell. Uh, so the only one is going right now and there's a water level uh, in the uh, in the sump pit there. So we're going to monitor this one a little more. Let me see which one was it. Uh, I think this is the one that's emptying pretty much. Uh, oh, this one here just started going. As you can see, the water level is receding. So when we come down here, we should see another one. There's actually two more going. So there's three bell siphons going on at once. And so uh, I already tested all of them. And the operation is sound for all of them. So I'm getting really good performance. They're all working the way they should and when they should. So uh, I'm very, very satisfied with the system design. Um, hopefully this will be reliable. And, uh, you know, this uh, is supposed to use 2% less water than a regular uh, growth system, you know, where you have it outside. We're going to have everything thermostatically controlled in here. There's going to be a, a heater in here as well, an air heater. There's going to be a fan that's going to hang on this corner here. And that's going to run continuously. And then we're going to shut down. I'm going to shut off, actually, the uh, um, the openings that you see over there, the windows. And I'm going to seal them because I don't need them. Uh, this uh, shed is 12 feet by 12 feet or 12 by 10. So having a 16-inch fan over there is going to be way more than enough uh, circulation in here. Uh, so anyways, that is the update. Things are running as they should right now uh, for the first day. So I will uh, do additional updates as uh, we get the uh, fans going and the shutters going, as we get the water heater going over here and the thermostats connected. Uh, and... Uh, then we'll start doing the videos on uh, growing the uh, seeds and let you look at the media that we're using and the system we're going to be using for that, which I think is pretty neat. Um, and then uh, we'll do a video on timing the, the growth bed uh, bell siphons. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, things are, things are working, things are coming along. It's just taking a while to get all this done while work uh, demands are met at the same time as what else other demands so anyways thanks for watching and uh god bless you and uh comment and uh and hit the like button if you like it and send me some questions if you have any okay thanks and god bless you